Hey guys, Dr. David Rice, and today I want to talk to you about a very important topic we talk to all of our patients about, and that's exercise, specifically as it relates to obstructive sleep apnea. So a lot of times in life there are things that are out of our control, but exercise is something that's in our control. And whether you're outside in a place like this or you're at a gym, it's really important for us to get physically active. So one in five people have obstructive sleep apnea. Think about you're at family dinner, there's five people at this table. That means at least one of you suffers from obstructive sleep apnea. And exercise is something we can do to help overcome a lot of things that contribute, like hypertension and diabetes and obesity. So the more we're energized, the more we can help ourselves, whether it's outside or in, the better we can help control a very big problem that's happening in life today, and that's obstructive sleep apnea. I want you to think about your energy levels and think about all the nights that you don't get a tremendous amount of sleep or you don't get good quality sleep. How do you feel in the morning? Do you really want to get up and go to the gym and work out? Do you, do you feel fatigued during the day? Does your day become stressed and at the end of the day you just don't feel like going to the gym or hopping on that treadmill again? So the relationship between low quality sleep with obstructive sleep apnea and your energy levels, it's a direct correlation. And oftentimes when you get a great night's sleep, you're gonna have great energy in the morning to have a really high energy day, a productive day, and you're just gonna feel better about getting things accomplished and getting trim and getting fit and staying healthy. So if you don't have enough energy in the morning, if you or your spouse just don't feel like you're getting through the day and are accomplishing all the things you do, you feel sleepy, you don't have the energy and excitement to play with your kids, reach out to your dentist, reach out to your physician, let them know how you feel. And remember that a lot of this has to do with exercise and a lot of this has to do with nutrition obstructive sleep apnea, it affects one in five people. If you feel like you're that one, take the next step and talk to your health professional.